Todd Eldridge. Oh, sure, Colorado. absolutely. Colorado. Well, there are two skaters Here left, though. Scott Davis, a two-time champion. That was in 93 and in 94. Finds himself in third place after the short program. And remember, once again, if you're in the top three heading into this free skate and you win it, you are the overall winner. I think it's been a tough week for Scott. He's had some rough warm-ups, and he's struggled through a lot of things, making a mistake in the short. So hopefully he'll be able to pull it together with this. At stake, medals, and also two spots on the Olympic team. Davis went in 94. He'd love to go back. Now this is his triple axle combination. Uh -huh. Well, I think that's going to blow any possibility for his attempting to make a berth on the team. It is so hard to come back from something like that. You absolutely feel like stopping the music after you make a mistake on your first thing and getting off the ice. Either that or asking to start over again. Yeah. And the thing I've noticed from Scott's practices are that he doesn't, he stops a lot in his programs and does sections, and that'll be hard at the end of this program for stamina. Nice triple locks. Yep. spinners in this and almost every other competition. His centering and his speed in the spins is phenomenal. He told us the other day that he feels a real connection to Todd Eldridge because their careers, at least to some point, have been very similar, having to fight back from discouragement and, and defeat. Of course, the last few years, Eldridge has had more success. supposed to be it wasn't it was supposed to be a triple axle and he popped it into a single he really needed that he definitely needed that well at least it would have helped him if it had been a double axle Quickly, he steps into that Lutz. Triple Lutz. Double Kelly, but it's a nice combination. those two triple axles, he really pulled it together and skated well. The other stuff was great. And look at the quality of this spinning.
Well, an almost good performance. Or put it this way, it was good, but not great. His mother and grandmother, they appreciate it. And this crowd does, too. A gutsy performance, the second half of it, to continue after yeah. the early mistakes. Well, the only one left with a chance to top Todd Eldridge, Michael Weiss. A kiss for his new wife, Lisa. He skates after this from our ABC stations. Scott Davis alongside his coaches, Galina Zmiovskaya and Nina Petrenko, Victor's wife, in the marks for technical merit. And they're strong, but not good enough, and this is the reason why. Look at the way he goes up into the air, the turn before he gets off the ice. Just no control over the revolution, and that's one of the major problems. And the march for presentation, 5-5, five, five, up to 5.7. So Scott Davis in second place right behind Todd Eldridge and in front of Shepard Clark and Derek Delmore. So